Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And we are continuing with recipes from our cookbook, the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. We're going to make burgers today. And my mom was so funny. She said, let's make burgers and call them SOB burgers. <laughs> and did No, you... I called you because I was at a, somewhere where I'd had them. So, I mean, did so... they call them SOB? No, but they had, anyway. The, but she wanted to call them SOB, so I was like, all right, we'll have to just sort of backfill here. Why are they being called SOB? So we decided to call them smoky oat bean burgers um, because that's what we use. And it's really easy and fun and messy to make. One thing I like about this recipe though, oh, it, it's on page um, 223 if you're following along. Um, one thing I like about it is that uh, we got an email from a firefighter who said, oh, I got your book and I'm so excited about it. I have lost 100 pounds or whatever. Or my cholesterol's gone down, gone down 100 points. But he said, I thought I was going to open the book and make a big grocery list, but I opened the book, I looked at the burgers, and I realized I had everything there that I'd need at the firehouse. So that <laughs> won me over. That's why I thought I was telling that story, because that's pretty amazing. But this starts with basically with um, one cup of cooked rice. So if you ever have one little cook of, cup of rice sitting around the house, don't get rid of it. And then half Some a cup. Some nutritional yeast, half right. a cup. Yep. And then some oats, just regular old oats. Fourth cup. And, and two cans of cannellini beans that have been rinsed and drained. Um, and best to and get continue them... continue to drain. They're draining all over your... Oops, oh. There you go. To get them sodium free if you can. And then a quarter cup of salsa. Get your hands in there. I will, I will, I will. I'm going to wait for the salsa. So like, you oh, get a quarter salsa. cup of salsa. Sorry. And um, this a quarter cup. And this is the basis of it. When you're making burgers, you have to have a cooked starch in there. Um, and the, that cooked rice does that. And just get some beans in there and smash them. And then you get the spices in there. So that, this is basically all the food food. Now comes the spices. And we're going to do a, a half teaspoon of turmeric and a half teaspoon of smoked paprika because that gives this color and, and well, turmeric. Course, turmeric gives it a good bit of everything. And um, this is the smoked paprika. This is such a key ingredient in here. Well, that's why we can call it the SOB. It's got the smoky. And then a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. If you want to add other things that you like, just spices wise, if you like curry, throw in some curry. That's some garlic powder. And, um, and here's some. If you like chili powder. And this is the end of. Of a big thing of uh, onion, onion powder. powder. So if you have any other, other things you want to add in, like. Um, Sitting around, hey, like someone, I've got like some. Cooked... I've got some leftover green uh, red onions. Oh, How okay. about that? Yeah, that's actually not bad. That would be good. They were um, left over from something else we've done. Okay, so now I'm going to get it in here and really hey, smash it up with my hands. I just found a little handful. Of, this is a little bit of kale. I mean, why not? That was probably we one little probably leaf put, of kale. We should probably put more kale in there. Yeah, kale would be great in here. So now I'm squishing these and I'm getting. Can you push my sleeve up on this side? Thank you. Uh, my, my bracelet's got misarranged. Thank you. And so now you squish these till it's sort of a patty texture. And the reason I'm doing this with my hands now is because you want to break up some of the beans. Not necessarily all the beans, but if you can break up a lot of the beans, it makes the burgers stick together better. And um, some people, their, their bellies kind of prefer to have beans smashed up a bit. Okay, so now I'm ready to make these into burgers. Um, oh, can you grab a tray and we'll line it up with some par parchment paper? Um, and these will make, I would say, between four and eight burgers because it depends on how big you want your burgers to be. But, um, you know, a classic size burger like this, I would just eat probably two or three of these. So I tend to make them a little bit bigger. And, um, you got it? There you go. But make them however big you want, and they'll be ready to go after you cook them for as long as you want. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There. That's a big burger. Doesn't look great. 
how, how big do you like to have them? Oh, we're both going to get in here? We're both going to get in there. Okay. So we're probably going to make about four or five burgers. Oh, but you could make easily a lot I more. I mean, you could make here. small. You can make eight little ones. I mean, look how big we're making them. Oh, you're making smaller. Yeah. Because you're so petite. <laughs> Chain. Okay. There we go. And then cook these uh, in the oven. Oh, gosh. How long do we recommend? I think we recommend you cook them at 350 for as long as you want. Um, sometimes the thickness varies, so I'm not really going to say exactly how long you cook them, but until they're done. And we're going to throw them in the oven right now for a minute, so we'll clean up and get right back. All right. Bye. <laughs> not, oh, not, not, yet, not yet. We'll be back. Not right yet. Back. We'll be. <laughs> okay. I don't even. I don't even know how this. This might taste good too. Just raw. Oh, no. Why not? Oh, <laughs> burgers are done. Done. Yes. Now I let them cook for about thirty minutes because I love having them done really crispy. I have found that I like having them ten minutes longer than we have written down in the book. Um, these get a little nice and crispy, and they are just like a solid burger. Look at that. Just awesome. Um, now on our burgers, we love onion, arugula, tomato, red pepper, ketchup, mustard, salsa. I think salsa. you could even put some corn salsa. Mm. Jane doesn't think no, so. No, you mentioned it might earlier. Be good. Yes. Um, and, but the one thing we also love to have them on usually is buns. Um, but I have bread in the oven, or bread in the fridge, and I've got hot dog buns, so I, I don't have any buns to do the demonstration. One of the things, Jane, that I really like is to use bread instead of buns because most buns are too too bun too bready, and so a, some bread is thin enough that it's kind of nice. I must say <clears throat> that although I'm always talking about how I love the Engine 2 products, one of the things I really love are the Engine 2 hamburger buns because they're small and really delicious. So okay. I wish we had those. I'm trying this right now because it just looks so delicious and yummy. Oh, it, oh, it's crispy. I love crispy. Mm -hmm. Very good. It has a great flavor. Mm -hmm. SOB burgers rule. Really, really good from that um, fiery, uh, smoky paprika. Really good. They are. Okay, go squeeze up your own burgers. SOB. Use bread, Rules. use buns, use them plain. Nothing. You use nothing. It doesn't matter. Just to eat, eat them out of the oven like we are. Really. Thank you. Bye.